Hello and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel. My name is Carol Lazovic. We started a new series that will guide you if you're looking to get kickstarted in the field or with clinical study on a device, medical drug and IVD. This is our how-to series and we hope it's helpful. Last week we took you through how to start clinical research study. Today we'll guide you through how to collect clinical study data. Stay tuned. As a manufacturer, you will have now identified your study, designed a powerful study plan, defined the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Now you'll need to decide on how you will collect the study data. Your method of data collection can vary based on the risk of your study, type of the study, complexity, whether you will collect the data from one country or several countries across the globe, the classification of the study, data points, type of measurements, your budget at hand, etc. For example, you may have a simple phase one study involving, say, 50 patients, or a post-market medical device study collecting several data, such as vital measurements, the study visits, follow-up visits, questionnaires. As the owner of the trial, you'll need to decide what method you will use to collect the data. That's on paper, electronic, or both. IC at GCP describes some requirements for the use of electronic trial data and computer systems. For example, the sponsors operating such computer systems must validate the systems, maintain SOPs for their use, ensure an audit trail for each data change and provide data security. Therefore, whichever method you choose, you should ensure compliance to set regulatory requirements and guidelines. You need to weigh the pros and the cons of the method you wish to choose. Paper-based method is the traditional way where collection of data is done on paper forms called case report forms or CRFs. These forms are then sent to the data management site where they need to be entered into a centralized database and managed. This can be time and manpower consuming and it will increase your cost in the long run. For example, if you have to archive paper for 25 years, You'll need to spend a lot on maintenance for transport, storage that's water, fire and dirt proof, filing, etc. You can expect this method to be costly, time consuming and inefficient. Nowadays, paper CRFs are not used very often anymore. Actually, most experienced people would consider this method obsolete. Today, electronic methods involve entering the data directly into a computer system without being transcribed on the CRF. This method is also called EDC, which stands for Electronic Data Capture. The computer system has a central database which stores the data collected worldwide. EDC systems are usually set up and maintained by CROs that have clinical research as well as IT experience. As a sponsor, you should consider a CRO for these EDCs. Keep in mind that a good EDC system should be accurate, flexible, consistent, user-friendly for the sites and the research staff collecting the data are not cost-intensive. As a full-service CRO, we tend to support the sponsors with tailoring an EDC solution based on the study to find an EDC best suited to the client's needs and the needs of the study. Well-designed trials and the data management methods are essential to the integrity of the findings from the clinical trials. Therefore, timely data collection, accurate data, complete data are key indicators of the quality of the study conduct. Another method is to involve the study subjects directly into the data collection. This method can be used for questionnaires such as quality of life questionnaires or diary data. If the subjects enter the data directly, we refer to the patient reported outcome. Or if the data is entered into electronic devices such as smartphones, we call it EPRO, which stands for Electronic Patient Reported Outcome. These data, of course, are very important and useful for clinical trials, but the chosen method needs to match with the captured EPRO data and the electronic devices, internet connection, etc. In future, more and more wearables such as watches or implantables will be used to get data directly from patients. Remember, the success of your trials heavily relies on the study design, quality and integrity of data amongst other things. Hence, the data should provide information about the study and the study's objectives. For that, you will need good data management plan and that is accurate, thorough, detailed, complete and reflects the objectives focusing on critical endpoints. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Goodbye.